I'll tell him. Actually, you'll have Mike get over. Yeah, I'll have Mike get over. You know where <coughs> well how Mike goes from this. That brick house just east of the north, north side. West of Nebo Hall on the north side. Yeah. Yeah, and then his driveway starts up a little bit too, which probably makes it worse with that wing. Mm -hmm. Project status, Wall Lake Bridges, uh, North Bridge, uh, we're having a pre poor meeting after dinner today. I think they're going to try to get that forward yet this week. <coughs> uh, South Bridge is still working on putting steel on the deck, but there's a good yeah. chance they might be able to get right that ready for next week. So we got to get those yep. done. We'll get some good weather. Stretch. And, 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 uh, <coughs> Uh, the other two bridges, really nothing's changed there. As soon as the frost goes out, they'll dries up. They'll begin to, to finish the work up on those other two bridges. Even though the weather's been nice, there's still a lot of frost in the ground. It's especially the selected, selected, yeah, and selected spots that's yeah. going out and the others it's not. Uh, I have three there. I got a request from a farm manager to reclassify their road. Section 3, Richland Township, from the, to the level C, install gates. I gave the board a copy of that, of that letter and then a, a, a map that shows uh, the locations down there west of the boat. Sure. Are they um, on that road or that they have property on both sides or not? Uh, that, that... It's not obvious on the map. Uh, that, what's the name? Elsa Farm. It's got that half section there. Oh, so they are on both sides though? Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, my understanding uh, is that tenant, uh, Dan, Dan Snyder, yeah. lives right there. That's the only thing there. Where's his house at, Jack? It's it actually in Ida County. Ida County, yeah, probably right, right at the end of the, yeah. So there's, I mean, it's, it's confined within one property owner. Yeah, I don't know. This this section of road is all uh, in one property owner. When you get to the county line, I'm not sure who owns on the other side, but well, this we wouldn't be, sure. we wouldn't be, yeah, we wouldn't be concerned with that on uh, past the center of the road. Uh, I mean, the, the request, I think, actually came, this Dan Snyder had brought the issue to Mike, and Mike had suggested that, that he, you know, have the farm manager you know, send in a request. But no, there's signal lights on that railroad at that point. You know that? I don't know how that ever happened, but... Well, that used to be one of the main roads over by Snyder's Farm. Right up there on this dirt road. <laughs> it's dirt road all the way over through here. I'm just muddy than hell in the rain. And then at the railroad crossing, comes out of Snyder's Farm, there's actually cross, or not cross bars, but flashing red lights and bells. And they have maintained them all these years. I guess it's real hard to get them taken out. Taken out. But I don't think Snyder's want them, but they go back and forth there with their tractors all. So what's, how are they involved then? How's the railroad involved? They wouldn't be in this Class C. They're actually on this. They're on the north they're side. They're on the north south. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but the, the reason <laughs> the, the tenant uses this road is because there's a pony truck, narrow pony truck bridge right here between, this is Highway 175, <laughs> and there's a pony trust bridge between him and the and his building site. But, so I, you know, quite often you've got others who will be uh, concerned or affected with this. This pretty much looks like as long as the farm manager and the renter are on the same page, it should be fine. Apparently, you know, they do get some traffic of, of people you know, coming through there, and uh, uh, Mike was saying something about being a shortcut, but I guess I'm not sure if I understand where it's a shortcut from or two, but... <laughs> wow, well, but uh, if you're headed back to Oidable, uh, right. but it is a it is a dirt road, and, and uh, I think these people here have, have had to pull people out before, and, and uh, again, they use this for the big farm equipment. Um, in fact, the bridge right here that's sort of a concern with the county is uh, the 
bridge rails on that bridge have been removed. Uh, I told Mike we probably need to, to uh, get something back up there on the edge of that bridge. I mean, even if we make it a Class C, what should be something? Why? Why? Uh, why not just abandon it altogether? Well, then that, you, then you get rid of the bridge and everything. Yeah, I mean that that could be approached that uh, we could try. Try to keep the the whole thing. And well, they probably wouldn't go along with that if they, if they can't use that pony truck bridge to the north. I mean, that's going to be their yeah. issue is that uh, they'd have to maintain this access then to get their equipment in and out. Yeah. They can't get through with white equipment on their pony truck. See, right where it comes off this gravel road right here, it's, it's a downgrade. You actually go downhill a little bit if, and then you're right down in the mud all the way across through here. Well, it, it's just and certainly it's a seasonal thing, but yeah. we're, if we're going to gate it, we're not going to do much maintenance on it at all anyway. I would be, if I were the landowner and you could eliminate the road altogether, I, I would be thinking about that. But, but you know, how, how, how often do they use it and, and is it necessary at all? If you're, if you're wanting to gain it, you ought, gate it, you obviously don't want people on it or it's causing a problem that people yeah. are on it. Yeah. I, I guess I'd I'd ask the question of rather than than uh, maintaining it as sea whether they would consider abandonment altogether. You know, there's not much to the north of them about everything. I'm trying to think whether there's any even farmland there's a railroad you know, here's right along there in the north. Yeah, there's a map. I would have copied this but I didn't think it was a copy very good. But you know, here's the building site here. Mm -hmm, here's that's the Pony right. Trust Bay bridge. And this is, you know, a gravel down to his building site. And this is the railroad here and this is the gravel road, or dirt road I should say. See, it runs right along the ground. Mm -hmm. There used to be piles of dirt along here they would go in and grab some of them every once in a while. Good big mounds of dirt. I don't know Does what that gravel gave. road continue south? No. No. Stops Way off. The stops gravel it. road stop. The dirt road stops there and then the gravel road down to 175. But it doesn't go North any, or south anywhere. That's, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's what he meant. Yeah. And this is a dirt road down here. Once you get past this building yeah. site here, this is dirt here. This is just class B after you get so far. <laughs> this is the dirt road that when they did the Highway 175 project a few years ago, we had all that complaints about all the traffic that was taking the down dirt road. And they were coming a mile south of 175 and cutting across. We would try to put road close signs up in a mile in the uh, Ida County and still had do, do you think it's worth asking the question? It, it wouldn't hurt. Uh, I mean, there's been nothing. When I was working on a road yet, there's nothing but beer drinkers and lovers on that section. <laughs> 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 I'm not pulling down that road. I chased a car out of it one night, and I had been up here on this road and knew this 100% mud, and they turned on that road. I just stopped and waited, and they got about 100 yards down the road, and they're sideways and done. Did you walk up and get them then? No, I made them walk back, and, they, and then they took and they had them on the, in the spotlight, you know, because they knew what was going to happen. And they got sideways, and then they try setting the beer out, and they're writing them. And I said, bring that 12 pack, you just stuck it in the car, and bring that along too. <laughs> and uh, it was a guy having a bachelor party, actually, it turned out to Minister Luther. Or the Methodist ministers. No, he turned out to be a Methodist minister. <laughs> I can. I'll. Uh, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, fine, fine, I'm, I'm fine with with doing the C thing too. But if I had something like that separating the, my property, I I would I I would at least entertain the idea that that you would abandon it. I mean, in this situation, of course. With the railroad being there, they're, they're not really going to gain uh, it's true too. a whole lot. Is, is the thing, but I mean, it, it basically will be his private drive. I mean, it's almost like this piece here. It'd be nice to vacate this, but I don't know. I don't know about landowners on the on the Ida County side. But there's. I, I I guess I would I would ask them if they would have any any consideration of of abandoning it altogether, and if they don't, then go ahead and gain it. And of course, if we've abandoned it, uh, we've got to do something with the bridge. We've either got to sell it to them uh, or, or move it.